What's up, my dude? Your friendly neighborhood Tony here, and today is a very special day to be a giant comic book nerd. For those of you that have been living under a rock and have no idea what I'm talking about, today is the official day that DC, through the power of our lord and savior James Gunn, releases the upcoming list of movies and TV shows that they're going to be working on for the next, I think, 10 years or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that James Gunn, who is now the head of DC along with Peter Safran, has released a video on his Twitter where he, I assume, is going to break down all of the movies and shows that are going to be coming out. So I wanted to just flip on the camera and the microphone and jump on real quick so that I can watch that with you guys and you can get my genuine immediate reaction. So I've got the video pulled up on this screen over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on it. I might pause it here and there to kind of react and tell you what I think. But without further ado, let's jump into DC's announcement for all of their upcoming shows and movies. Here we go. Hey everybody, I'm James Gunn. I'm the co-CEO of DC Studios. So as many Good of you know, Jimmy DC Guns. has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. And it's one mm. of you know, our jobs, mine and Peter's, is to come in and make sure the DCU is connected in film, television, gaming, and animation. That's that bold. the characters are consistent, played by the same actors, and it works within one story. And if something is outside of that, like Matt Reeves' Batman or Todd Phillips' Joker or Teen Titans' Go, that it is clearly labeled as DC Elseworlds. Out Okay, so that is a bold move right there. We haven't seen really anybody successfully do that, whether it's Marvel or Star Wars or any of these big IPs where they're, it appears that they're trying to take all of the movies, the shows, the video games, the comic books, and everything and bring it into one shared universe, which is insane. But he, uh, he also mentioned that they're going to have some Elseworld stuff as well. So, all right, let's see where he goes from here outside of the mainstream DCU continuity. Now, Peter and I have gotten pretty lucky in terms of the four projects that are coming out over the next year. First, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Mm -hmm. Shazam! has always been off kind of in his own part of the DCU, yeah. so he connects very well. That moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love that resets the entire DC universe. Okay, so I have heard The Flash is supposed to be really, really good and of course is a great point for them to do a Flashpoint Paradox type situation and just reboot the entire universe. So I assume that's what they're going to do. And I guess we'll see. Then to move into Blue Beetle, a fantastic film about a kid who's a marvelous part of the DCU, and then into Aquaman 2, which leads mm. directly into our next few projects, which I'm going to tell you about now. Okay. So Peter and I, along with a group of very talented writers, have started to map out an 8 to 10 year plan of what DC Studios will be in film television and gaming. Tight, tight, this tight. first chapter is called Gods and Monsters. Ooh. Now this, what I'm about to tell you, is a part of the first chapter. It's not the entire first chapter. Okay. The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature oh. Commandos is an animated series. I've written all the episodes. Something we're gonna do that's a little bit different at DC is we're gonna have characters move into animation, out of animation, usually having the same actor play their voice as who plays them in live action. Wow, that is okay. So that's bold right there. Of course, I assume that James Gunn would be starting off with something non-traditional. As you know, he obviously worked on Guardians of the Galaxy, which at the time wasn't that popular of a comic book, but he really likes to take these little known characters and bring them to light. So excited to see this. I don't know anything about creature commandos myself, but if you do, let me know in the comments, but it looks interesting. The next project up is Waller. This is a story nice. of Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis. Viola Davis is going to team up with members of Team Peacemaker, and this is a story that's been created by Crystal Henry, who okay. did Watchmen, and Jeremy Carver, who created the Doom Patrol. It is a fantastic story that's out of this world, and I can't wait for people to see it. So he's bringing in, he said, Team Peacemaker, Amanda Waller. Those are kind of characters that he's already worked with before, so... All right. Interesting to see. Also interesting to see that he mentioned specifically Viola Davis, which is, I guess we can say, officially the first casting in this new DC universe. That's cool. Even though, of course, she's already been Amanda Waller, but it's official. She will be continuing to play her. That's cool. Okay. Next up is the big one. The true beginning of the DCU. 
This is called Superman Legacy. Of course. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time doing it. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. Okay. This- Hold on. July 11th, 2025. So it's two and a half years. Is that right? Yes. Okay. But he's currently writing it. So they're going to have to move pretty quick on that. I assume he's got to be close to finished writing because then they got to do pre-production, filming, post-production, marketing, all that stuff. So that's got to be moving pretty quickly. The next thing is a big premiere HBO television series called Lanterns. This is a story of a couple of Green Lanterns, John Stewart oh, and Hal nice. Jordan. And we have a few other lanterns peppered in there, but this is really a terrestrial-based TV Bravo. show, which is almost like True Detective with a couple of Green Lanterns who are space cops okay. watching over precinct Earth. In it, they discover a terrifying mystery that ties into our larger mm. story of the DCU. Next is a big... I love that. I love Green Lantern, and it's really unfortunate that all we have is the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern that was not that good, but excited to see that they're finally bringing that back around and that we're getting Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart in the same show, True Detective style. So, okay, I'm, I'm totally on board for that. Big movie called The Authority. The Authority is a passion project of oh, mine. Wow. It's based on the marvelous Wildstorm characters. We are now bringing into the DCU and will interact with all of our primary DCU characters. Wow, okay. The Authority are a group of superheroes who think the world is broken and they want to fix it by any means necessary. Yeah. I think it's a very different look at superheroes. We're doing a television series called Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost okay. is the story of Paradise Island, usually known as Themyscira, which is the birthplace of Wonder Woman. I thought it was Themyscira. Is it Themyscira? Have I been pronouncing it wrong my whole life? It's almost like Game of Thrones with Westeros, but with all of the inhabitants of Paradise Island. The introduction of the DCU's Batman is the brave and the bold. Oh. The brave and the bold is the story of Batman and his actual son, Damian, Damian. Wayne. This yep. is based on Grant Morrison's great comic book run. Damian Wayne is my favorite Robin. He's pretty He's dope. a little assassin who Batman tries to get in line. And so this is the story of the two of them and the beginning of sort of the Bat family in the DCU. So that's interesting right there because that means that the introduction of Batman is going to be a bit of an older Batman, not like older, older, um, like something from Batman Beyond, but Damian Wayne didn't show up until deep into Batman's kind of lore, right? He had already had several different people who had been Robin at that point, and he was probably in his mid to late 30s. So I'm curious to see, I've heard they're going for a lot of younger casting. So are they going to do like a younger Superman and and a slightly older Batman? I don't know. Very curious. Interesting, though. Next up is a TV series <laughs> called Booster Gold. Booster Gold Hell is one yeah. of comics' really popular cult heroes. He is a fascinating guy. He's a loser from the future <laughs> who uses future technology Ooh. to come back to present day and become a superhero so that people will love him. Are they going to tie that into Blue Beetle? I don't know. That would be cool, though. It is basically the superhero story of imposter syndrome on an HBO Max series. One of my favorite comic book series from last year was Tom King's run on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Mm. And so we're going to turn that into a big science fiction epic film. Okay. Now, Superman is a guy who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents, where Supergirl in this story, she is a character who was raised on a chunk of Krypton. She Mm. watched everybody around her perish in some terrible way. So she's a much more jaded character. Mm. And that brings me to Swamp Thing, the last thing we're going to talk about. A very dark horror story in the origins of the monster who is Swamp Thing. Okay. And although it's totally outside of the rest of the DCU, it will still For feed sure. into the rest of the stories. Oh, Anyway, man. those are the stories that I can tell you about right now. I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. They're incredibly important to me. I knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime mm-hmm. opportunity to do something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique and something special. Storytelling is always king. That's all that matters to us. And I want to be true to those stories. I want to be true to you guys and really give you something different than you've ever seen before. Anyway, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I hope this was exciting for you because it's really exciting for me. And I can't wait to start to dive into these stories with you guys on this grand adventure. Thank you so much. Dude, I am ready. Okay, 
couple of things to break down there. Wow, we are getting a lot. And I think he said that's over just the next couple of years. So that's not giving us the full run of the next eight to 10 years. There's a lot more that's going to be coming down the pike. Also, I like that they are, of course, as you might expect with someone like James Gunn, incorporating a lot of the lesser known characters, right? You've got a couple shows there and even, I think, movies that are going to involve characters that aren't the big three, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. I like that we're getting more Green Lantern stuff because I've really enjoyed Green Lantern in the comics and it's exciting to see that they're finally going to build that back up and they were getting kind of like a buddy cop drama. Uh, I think he said it's kind of like, um, oh gosh, what's the name of the show? <laughs> I totally just forgot the uh, uh, True Detective. So it's going to be kind of like True Detective with you know two Green Lanterns that we both know and love or that we all know and love. I forget there's not just one of you <laughs> watching this. Um, I also like that we are getting still the big three, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, but in unique ways, right? So we're getting Superman, but it appears a younger, fresh Superman. We're getting Batman, but we're getting more of the story of the Brave and the Bold and more of his interactions with Damian Wayne. And I'm assuming with the League of Shadows through that because, well, spoilers, if you don't know <laughs> where Damian Wayne comes from, his mother was Talia al Ghul. Then we're also getting some Wonder Woman stuff, but I guess it's not really Wonder Woman because it's way before she would have even been born, I'm assuming. It seems based on what he mentioned about that show that takes place on Themyscira. So a lot of really cool stuff coming down the road here from DC. Very, very exciting to see where they go. I also like that his main focus is on the storytelling and is on the writing and on the characters and not just pumping out movies for the sake of making money. So really excited to see where it goes from here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a lot of information, so a lot to break down. Let me know all of your thoughts. What are you looking forward to? What are you unsure of? And what are you still hoping to see going forward? I know this isn't everything that we're going to be getting, so I want to know what you are still hoping that we get in the next few years from DC and from James Gunn and Peter Safran. Otherwise, that is going to be everything for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to support me and the channel, I've got an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you click on that before buying anything on Amazon, it gives me a little kickback. That's my big push right there. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos just like this, movie reviews, ranking videos, reactions, all that good stuff, make sure you subscribe. All right. I'll see you later. Be good.